not can be named the classroom. Yeah, afterwards. Ready, everyone? So I hear the first word of source. 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 Thank you. And the second word on the second syllable. So we're going to get easy help in the game. So the first word of the assassinate. The second word is assassinate. The third word is assassinate.
content contemplation. contemplation. So like here, when you use the word contemplation, then you want to show you. When you say somebody is in contemplation, the person is contemplating something. It's okay. So like here, in contemplation, contemplating something. So like here, you can use the second one to use the writer was in. Contemplation for hours as he tried to come up with an interesting plot for his new novel. Here in the middle of this expression, come up with a uh, second ask. You can say you try to come up with something. Come up with. Yeah, 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 you're right. Like here, if come up with means you try to choose the interesting plot. So like here, come up with means propose. Okay, but like here, the writer was in contemplation for hours as he tried to propose an interesting plot with a new number. You should use this in the sense. Okay, we give the word plot, the Chinese name will be. Okay, yeah, so like here, we use an interesting plot, interesting uh, storyline for a movie or for a novel. Okay, yeah, and here the next one. Five years after Richard's father died, his mother is being married. Now he lives with his mother, and I guess it's quite easy. So for number two, the keyword should be, yeah, stepfather. He's okay. Yeah, so here can we move on? Oh, by the way, this statue. You know the statue? This statue is very famous in your art, uh, like art class textbook. You know what it's like? The same person. The thinker, but thinker, yeah, the thinker. But you, you know the sculpture, sculpture. They wouldn't sound. Yeah, yeah, sculpture. You say sculpture. How do you spell the word sculpture? S C U L. Sculpt. Sculpture. T O R. So when you say sculpture, the sculpture is this guy. R O D I N. But like he's now Rodan. He's Rodan. Rodan. Like here, the Chinese meaning you usually translate the name or done as more than more than more than yeah. So like here, what? What? Okay. Right. So no, oh French, French more than yeah. So like here, the name, but like in English, we usually just say the name as Rodan, Rodan. So that's why we call him more than in Chinese. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so like here, the next one. The survivors of natural disasters often need counseling to help them deal with the they have suffered. But number three, based on the meaning of the sentence, what should be the word that you can think of? Claire, Matthew. The survivors of natural disasters often need counseling to help them deal with the they have suffered. Deal with the agony. Agony. Okay, so here, like, deal with the agony, deal with, yeah, it's okay, so like, deal with the agony, deal with the pain. So, like, here, may after some natural disasters, they suffer from pain, and they need counseling. But here, may ask you the word counseling, what does that mean, counseling? Jenny, may ask you the word counseling? You said the victims, they need counseling for them to face the agony, counseling. It's like the counseling office is over there downstairs on the first floor over there. So you say the counseling office or the counselor's office? Yeah, you might say counseling. So you the word counsel. You say you try to offer counseling to a person, you try to offer the person some mental support for the difficulty he or she is facing. Okay, so here you can read the number three examples of the survivors of. Disasters all the need counseling to have them deal with the agony they have suffered. Thank you. And here the next one. Blake rolled on the floor, agony, as he was having in this word, A C U A C U T E. How do you read this word? A C U T E. Acute or acute. Yeah, you're right, acute. So like you say you have an acute stomach ache. The word acute means sharp. Sharp and strong. In Chinese you say trivial, quite sweet. When you say, I'm having an acute stomach ache, you mean you are having a fast and strong stomach ache. So like here, when you say agony, you can see it. She was like, to pull the phone on yourself. In, off, with. Make a choice. In, off, with. We. You were saying about the phone on the phone, you want to go for your. In. You were saying, you saw, 
在这小女生很高兴的尖叫，当她看到她的偶像的时候 ，she shouted with excitement when she saw her idol。一般来说，我也会搭配一些比较正面的姿态来说，你自己想要表现出那样的情绪。我们一起来 ，she cried in sadness. He, uh, he sat in frustration. 比较负面的人，你不会。没办法，你是最想要表现的是你在那个状况只要用硬比较好，这样子可以知道吗？所以硬跟硬都可以用，可是一般来说，正面的用户代表是想要做某事情，借某种情绪表达出来的感觉的话，用 with excitement, with happiness, with uh surprise like that, like that. 所以来听听听，那么这个章是一个 play roll on the floor. Annie, Annie, as he was having an acute And number four, she that she would never dream again after being called DUI. So we say somebody would never do something again. Before we move on, may I ask you, being called DUI, like we talked about DUI before, but you used to be one of the meaning of DUI. DUI is what? Like in Taiwan, this place is Taiwan's capital. In Taiwan, we have a lot of people who drink. If you say, uh, the, 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 the truck driver, <laughs> the truck driver hit an innocent motor bike rider because he was under DUI. So we say DUI, which means driving under influence, driving under influence. So this is the Taiwan so we say in Taiwan, we call it drunk driving, drunk driving. So we say DUI, we call it Jiaojia, which is in English. Um, especially not for areas in Asia, usually we use DUI to mean driving under influence. 这些人不只是喝酒，还有其他的影响。所以这个地方在用的时候就用 DUI， 代表你有其他的问题，所以你开车的时候不小心。我们可以 call DUI， 被抓到的这样的状况，就是 call drunk driving。所以一般来说，在英文里面不会写 drunk driving， 只有 use DUI。OK， 所以 here the word would be， 我们讲两句。She would never drink again after being born to life. Somebody swears, I swear to God, back your life. It means that she vowed that, means she swore. Do you remember the word swore? Swear, swore, sworn. So that swear also means bashi, so like S-W-O-R-D. So it means that she swore that she would never drink again, means she vowed that. So if you look at the next time, you can see that she vowed that. Yeah, so she will never drink again after being called DUI. Thank you. And here number the next one, Eric made a solemn to give up drinking and stay sober. So I hear another usage of the word vow is used as a noun. So here like we say you try to vow to another person, we say you make a vow. But here for the word S-L-L-E-M-N, this word, we read to get a solemn. Solemn. So when you say solemn, what does that mean when you use the word solemn? Um, the church was very solemn when the marriage ceremony was being held. So when you say solemn, you mean serious, serious. It's like the solemn atmosphere, so then the atmosphere is very strong, so the atmosphere is very strong. So I'm here to give up drinking and stay sober. The word sober we know before, and ask you the meaning of the word sober. We call and ask you what the word sober means. We need to say like, I would have, she didn't drink, so she was sober. She didn't drink, so she was sober. Yeah, so when we say somebody was sober, two means the person was awake and the person didn't drink anything. So sober means the just is clean, so the person didn't drink anything. So when we say somebody was sober, two means the person was awake and the person didn't drink anything. So sober means the just is clean, so the person didn't drink anything. So when we say somebody was sober, two means the person was awake and the person didn't drink anything. So sober means the just is clean, so the person didn't drink anything. So when we say somebody was sober, two means the person was awake and the person didn't drink anything. So sober means the just is clean, so the person didn't drink anything. So when we say somebody was sober, two means the person was awake and the person didn't drink anything. So sober means the just is clean, so the person didn't drink anything. So when we say somebody Excessive homework and tests are the stress for many students. So like here from the column above, which word should we use for number five? Uh, before we move on, may I ask you excessive? Fashi, uh, may I ask you excessive homework? What does the word excessive mean? 
yeah, it's too much, overwhelming. Overwhelming amount of homework and tests are the of stress for many students. So like here, grandma asked me, which word should we use for another item? You don't know, like source. Yeah, so when you say like something is the source of another thing, means that's where it comes from. Okay. Yeah. But here, uh, if you, okay, let me think about it. Do you want to show off stress for many students? That's the main idea. I hope you have excessive amount, excessive homework and tests that are going to be treated. I'm going to be doing it. Okay, what is that? Like, you got it, so I'm going to be doing it. Let's type over it. Uh, the stress of many students comes from, or from, this word. Ah, stand, you're right. So like, you're stand, you're going to be doing it. So you don't want to be doing it. The stress stays from, Excessive homework and assignments and the test means comes from that's you guys. Okay, so like here the other way around. You could say some A is the source of B. B stems from A. Is that too easy? Yeah, so here you can leave the number of excessive homework. And tests are the source of stress for many students. Yeah, thank you. Here's the next one. Mary was really sick. He couldn't attend the meeting. So here the word attend and ask you what the word means. Uh sorry and ask you attend. When you say you attended something, you... Yeah, you're right. And here, like, if you use a more expression, that's what you do with the P, that's what you do with the P, R, the R, the P, participate. But when you use the word participate, you have to use participate in. Okay, so like, here you can say, like, Larry was very sick, he couldn't participate in the meeting. So, like, here this word is, like, there are four, so here the word should be, I don't know, Matthew, number six. Yeah, you're right, accordingly. So here, the first meaning of the word accordingly is like the afford. The afford, or hence, H-E-N-C-E. -E. It's okay. But like here, we use the word accordingly, hence, therefore, similar meanings. And for the second example, uh, you can use this experience when you are going to a formal. Formal dinner, you should dress accordingly. So if you have a little bit of a question, you can say, 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 we should act accordingly when we go to a formal occasion. Or you might say when you are in a quiet library, you should act accordingly. So if you really want to go to the back, back on 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 the back, back on这样的话，所以这句话的“accordingly”比较像是reasonable，or“suitable”，这个是放在后面的时候非常高。所以这句话在用的时候，在这里如果修饰前面一层句的话，就是像“is”，“therefore”。但如果放在句尾的时候，它
fought for the advancement of civil rights, but was assassinated in 1968. Yeah, and what about the second one? The of John Lennon, the member of the Beatles, shot the whole world. Uh, this one is not very easy. Lennon not assassinate, so it's very simple. Okay, very simple. You know John Lennon? Yeah, the singer of the band Beatles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I hear assassinate, assassination. Yeah, so assassination here, just without E and ATL and assassination. But what about the number three example? She hired aim to eliminate or wipe off. When you say eliminate, eliminate是门槛，所以把人家赶出门槛就是另外一个词，destroy或是。Eradicate，就是在删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删、删
what, what, is a, what is a burden to you? I mean, like, if you say uh, getting a lot of attention from my parents is a burden to me. So if I'm young burden, we are young um, somebody. If you say to me, it's a burden to me. So you might say, like, maybe you would say, uh, social expectation is often a burden to many people in the society. Maybe you say, maybe you say, maybe you say, maybe you say, maybe you Okay. Yeah, this is it. All right, so before we move on, uh, we please go over the words on the first page once again. Uh, number one, number one, number ten. So first one, source. Uh, assassinate. Assassinate. That was the meaning, assassination. Assassination. Not assassination. Assassin is the killer. And number three, like ascend. Ascend. Down to. Ascend. Thank you. And number four, drop. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Once again, contemplate. Contemplate. Thank you. And if you do that now, contemplation. Number nine. Burden. Thank you. This is usually singular. This is usually What she says is always a burden to me. What she says is always a burden to me. Like that. It's okay. Yeah. Number ten is for some agony. Thank you. So like here, uh, we just need to talk about this one more page. Sorry. So like here, can we go to the right, the right page? Yeah. So here, number eleven. This word is like tasty. 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 And now it's like taste. Taste. Number twelve, the crown. And number thirteen, always get endure. Endure. And now endure. Now let's get endurance. Endurance. Number 14, once again, torment. Torment. Number 15, uh, tolerable. Tolerable. And financial intolerable. Thank you. And number 16, uh, once again, profound. Profound. Number 17, thank you. Once again, advisor. Advisor. Number 18, uh, once again,我是今天的創作。我是今天的創作。我是今天的創作。我是今天的創作。我是今天的創作。我是今天的創作。我是今天的創作。我是今天的創作。我是今天的創作。我是今天的創作。我是今天的創作。我是今天的創作。我是今天
Ah, thank you. Our third group, uh, uh, so we have O2, SPRG. So it means that he witnessed in the war, he observed in the war. So in the first meaning should be, uh, he can ask you, how much has Thomas has lived in? The war should be, torment. It's okay. So we have found that here, in agony, in torment, 如果解释成是无法控制的情绪，这负面的时候都会用“看得出来”哦，所以其实不是很好用。说，呃 ，she was in for a many refugees. 哦 ，you can say many poor tourists were in torment when the heavy rain shut down our international airport yesterday. Did you watch the news? That our international airport was blacked out because of the heavy rain. You know for how long? For a whole night until this morning, so like here for like 11 hours, yeah, 11 hours. So I get a lot of poor tourists that couldn't leave our country or any other country like for at least seven to eight hours. Yeah, so that was good. She was news now. That maybe like yesterday in Taipei, it wasn't that serious, but in Taiwan the rain was so heavy that the airport was there was no electricity and there was a flood inside the airport. Yeah, it's just really Maybe you might wonder what kind of quality our construction plan is. You never know. And here's the first thing that will give you the end of the campaign. Torment, because of all the cruelties he witnessed in the war. Thank you. And the second one, by his, this is the second one. I'm not conscious of, I'm not conscious of, I'm not conscious of, conscious of awareness. The third one, I'm not conscious of, I'm not conscious of, Conscious，这个是考试前要晓得的。我就没有听过这个叫conscious。是啊，conscious一分钟conscious，conscious的意思是C I O，conscious，C O N C I O U S，means aware。Consciousness，awareness，所以这个conscious means you are moral values，你相
，呀，就是镜中举手的，或者很认真的。那这个地方说，这个只有这个是名词，有一个呢 ，conscious， 嗯，对，这个单性说都差蛮多的 ，conscious，conscious，conscientious， 嗯，看你就知道了，太好，你们可以看到这几个呢 ，OK。And number two, Su always turns to her investment before buying the stocks and shares. So when you say stocks and shares, I guess you know the word stocks. But the shares is not the same. So when you go to the market, when you buy stocks, you have to pay the price of the stock. You can buy the stock of Apple, or Google, or Apple. They are stocks. So stocks are two words. So stocks and shares are two words. But you say stocks, stock market, 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 The person can give you suggestion on something. So the word should be the advisor. It's okay, the advisor. So like you can say, you know, so your school always comes to investment advisor before buying the stocks and shares. Yeah, thank you. And here another thing, since the king had no children, the went to his younger brother when he passed away. It's very easy. It will be. And here the second example, Queen Elizabeth, the second. Took them out and was at the age of twenty-seven. 这个用法需要注意一下，这个用法比较特别，可能会想到，因为第一个是名词，比较简单，是王位。可是这个地方，这两个用法跟 throne 的差别是什么呢 ？throne 一定是 on the throne， 在位的时候 on the throne。可是这个地方的 crown went to 不是成皇室的资格 qualification， 所以如果你说 the crown went to 一定是 the crown 不是 the throne。这种词，因为有时候就好像你说哦，因为这个东西很重要，很重要，就是 on the floor， 在位的时候，就 crown went to the king， 可以统治的资格，所以这样子用法就差不多。所以呢，你可以说了 ，the person who was at the age of twenty-seven， 加冕的时候，所以 crown 的加冕。所以这地方这个字很简单，就是在动词中比较少用，就是加冕。was crown at the age of twenty-seven， 这边加。So here, uh, you can read the first thing you want to get since the king had no. No children, the crown, which is just a brother, he passed away. 